This after some time does not work, then the husband is allowed to prevent her from evil to apply some type of physical force. As some scholars mentioned, it is with the, just to hit with the miswak. But Allahu Alam, what we know from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is this type of beating is not allowed to leave any type of mark. It is not allowed to break the skin. It is not allowed to break a bone or even leave a mark on the skin. A beating that is that severe is forbidden. And this is a type of assault. And no, guys. Uh, do we need like you know if somebody says to me okay we are, we are allowed to beat her but without making her skin green or breaking her arms or bones what does that mean it's mean you are beating the hell of her what breaking her arm you want to make her skin green you want to leave marks this is torturing so you see how they justify beating the women as if she is a goat? Yeah, you know, we beat her, but it's a light beating. And the proof, we are not allowed to make the hair skin green. And by the way, this is a lie. And we will show you in the following hadith that the Prophet took a side of a man. He made his wife's skin green and greener than her clothes to prove how Muslims do lie. Follow with me, please. So nobody can come to me and say you are a liar, as always Muslims do, you know, we know them. Volume number 7, book number 72, hadith number 715. A guy, his name is Rifa, he divorced his wife, and he had a fight with his wife, and he did beat her until, until what? Look at this. Aisha said, I have never... I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing women. Aisha saying that, that women, Muslim women, they are suffering big time in their life. Why? Because Islam allowed in their, the men to be their wives. They are like goats. Otherwise, why Muslim women, they should be suffering. They should be happy. If Islam is justice and Muslim men are good and Islam teach them how to be good with their women, they should not be suffering, they should be enjoying their life. And this is Aisha saying that, that Muslim women, they are very, very, very extremely sad. They are not only sad, they are suffering. And she is saying, i never seen any women suffering as a believing woman. She's not, she's not talking about individual women in here, by the way. She's talking about in general about all Muslim women. They are suffering big time from Islam. Now look what it says in here. Look at her. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. Her husband not only did beat her, he made her skin green. Is that telling you something? And the Muslim says to you, the Prophet is against this. And I will show you the Prophet, he loved it. Not only, he, he not only supported, he loved it. The man he came to the Prophet. So the women, you see, you see in here, when Abdul Rahman heard that his wife has, had gone to the Prophet, he came with his two sons. The women right away, she said to him, Prophet, by Allah, she is swearing by Allah, she is an honest woman, and, uh, and Allah apostle. She is saying to him, by Allah, I done no wrong to him. She is swearing. The husband, he said, she is a liar. I am very strong and can, I, can satisfy her. So this is a fight about sex. This woman, she is complaining that he is not good in the bed. So he did beat the hell of her. And he is saying to the prophet, she is a liar. I'm very horny. I can satisfy her. You know, so he did beat the hell of her. And he said, but she is disobedient. You know, in the Muslim video, we see Muslims saying, they are talking about uh, evil. If, she, if the woman, she is doing something evil, you can beat her. This woman, she is horny and her husband, he is not good for her. She is complaining like, you know, she wants more. Maybe this man, he is doing it once every two years like Muhammad, he used to do to his wives. You know, Muslims, they say Muhammad used to do 13 wives in one hour. But later we found out that Muhammad never touched them. Not, this is not the topic now. And here it's not about evil. 
The woman she is asking for more. This husband he needed Viagra. She is horny. He is saying, I swear, I am very strong prophet. Maybe he he was going to prove it to him by somehow. I don't know. She is disobedient. What the prophet he did? Nothing. Then the Prophet saw two boys with Abdul Rahman and asked him, Are these your sons? Abdul Rahman he said, Yes, Prophet. Then the Prophet he said, You claim what you claim. That he is, uh, uh, that's you know, he cannot have sex. By Allah, these boys resemble him. So the Prophet, he approving that he is saying the truth because he have boys. If he cannot have sex, if he have a problem, how he can have say, you know, he can have boys? But his boys are already men. He's old. So what if he have boys be, be, before? She is young and he is old like you. But in here, you don't see the Prophet is complaining. He did not take her side. At least, you know, even, even she is not right that he can have sex, but he is not satisfying her. Why your prophet did not ask him why you beat the hell of her like this? Even if she complained, no, the prophet, he took the side of the man, he approved what he did. So when the Muslim says to us, it's light beating, it's a lie. And this is the hadith, I will post it in the side of the video. Hadith number, value number 7, book number 72, hadith number 715, and this is Bukhari, which means approved by Muslims. They can't complain, they can't say it's a lie. So, just because the Prophet, he approved that he is right, it means he can beat her and make her skin, her skin green. So when the Muslims try to, you know, justify their beating to their, to their wives, they say, no, only she, if she did, did something really bad. What bad? This woman, she is asking her husband to do something more. And you know what, regardless what you do, let us say you are a bad woman, really. Is that justify to beat her until her skin became a green? Can the police beat the hell of you until your skin be green? You know, you can take them to jail. You can take them to court and they will lose their jobs and they will go in jail. What kind of God is treating the women as if she's a goat? Why? And you know what? What if the man is bad? Can the women beat him? No. Why? Because he's a man. Yeah. So if the woman, she did something that the man he don't like, she's of obedience, he can beat her. It's one way to go. The women under your shoes in Islam. I hope you uh, learn something today, guys. And spread this video to show everybody, especially for women who uh, Muslims try to fool them to marry them so they can learn and they can see the future they are going to go through. And you know what? If you make a mistake and you marry a Muslim man, you will pay a very high price for your decision. Jesus is Lord. Islam is false. And women in Islam considered as donkeys and goats, as you see in your eyes. What we know from the Prophet wasallam is this type of beating is not allowed to leave any type of mark. It is not allowed to break the skin. It is not allowed to break a bone or even leave a mark on the skin. A beating that is that.